Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of August 19th to August 25th, 2024. I'm going to take a look at your energy Capricorn and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy, Capricorn, spirit, angels, and guys. Please show me the energy of Capricorn in regards to love for this week. Thank you, spirit. All right, so we have the nine of wands. We also have here the hermit card. In your energy and the four of cups at the bottom of the deck queen of swords with the king of swords with the wheel of fortune and the ace of swords is here okay seven of swords three of swords wow and the moon a lot of trust issues here are showing up Uh, I'm getting trust issues. Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Moon. With the Page of Swords and the Ten of Swords and the Five of Cups. Hangman and the Strength card, Two of Swords. All right, let me see what's going on. All right, Capricorn, so... I need to confirm if your person is feeling the same way or if it's only you or if it's them because I'm definitely seeing I'm sorry I'm definitely seeing someone feel like they can't trust the other person or they're struggling to trust the other person or believe the other person The thing is that we do have the Wheel of Fortune here attached to you and this person. Which makes me feel like you two are supposed to move forward together. Especially because you're showing up as a true pair, a true match, a soulmate match. King and Queen of Swords here. With the wheel of fortune so you two are supposed to be together you two are supposed to solve your issues with each other uh you're supposed to um find peace and balance and um have stability with each other and move forward with each other that's what the universe wants because the Wheel of Fortune tells me that the universe is supporting this relationship between you and this person. Now, for some of you, this is a new person. Doesn't necessarily have to be a bad person. A past person is what I meant. Um, if you feel like you're dealing with a bad person or someone who's toxic, someone who's not good for you, then that's, this reading is probably not for you because the universe is not gonna tell you to be with someone who's toxic, I mean, obviously. You know, that doesn't make any sense. The universe is not going to be supporting a, a toxic relationship. So that wouldn't, that wouldn't fit with this reading. In this reading, the universe is supporting this relationship. In this reading. So, like I said, the universe is not going to support you being with somebody toxic. So that doesn't, that doesn't resonate. That wouldn't apply. This would be... This is relating to someone who you're in a relationship with or you're in a connection with this person and you feel you can feel that soulmate connection with this person. You know, you feel a strong soulmate connection, but there's some sort of bump in the road here that you are experiencing in your relationship with this person um, and it, it has to do with trust not being strong enough between the two of you. 
It kind of feels like both of you feel the same way, though. It feels like you're having a hard time trusting them and they're having a hard time trusting you. Um, but to be honest with you, it does feel irrational. Because we do have the Ace of Swords here with the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like you are a trustworthy person, Capricorn. And I also feel like this person is also a trustworthy person. So nobody's lying here. Nobody's lying here. You're not lying and they're not lying. But you both are looking at each other as if you were lying to each other. Or as if the other person were lying. But I don't feel like that's the truth. I feel like nobody's lying here. Nobody's lying. Nobody's playing games. Nobody's being deceptive. Um, it just kind of looks like um, there's a lot of guardedness here. Between the two of you. It's like both of you are triggering each other. Both of you are triggering each other and, and provoking each other to be guarded towards each other. But like I said, the fears that you two have, um, it does look like it's, it's irrational. In other words, it's not, it's not connected to any truth. It's not connected to, a, to any truth. It's connected to, um, you know, past experiences that you went through that were very um, heartbreaking for you and, and difficult for you. And this person also went through, you know, several bad experiences in their past. And that's also something they're carrying and projecting, basically. And um, at this point, both of you are projecting your negative past histories towards each other at this point okay let's look at the other side of the reading and see um your person's energy for the week let's see Yeah, trust, not, trust needs to be worked on here for sure. All right, here we go. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Capricorn is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week, please. What is this person's energy towards Capricorn for this week? Yeah, neither of you want to be hurt. Neither of you want to get hurt or get betrayed. Is what I'm noticing here with the Nine of Wands, Four of Cups. Nine of you, neither of you want to get hurt or get betrayed. You're both on the same on the same page in regards to that. You're on the same page. All right. In regards to this person's energy towards you, Capricorn, we do have here the King of Cups. We also have here, yeah, the Four of Cups again. And, well, look at who's here. The Queen of Cups, once again, you two are showing up as a true pair to each other, a true match and a soulmate connection here. King and Queen of Cups. First, first, you showed up as king and queen of swords. Now you're showing up as the king and queen of cups. There's a lot of love between the two of you. But here we have the four of cups in the middle of this connection. There's distance here. There's, um, there's distance. You two are not... Um, 
connecting with each other emotionally the way you should be connecting to each other. You're kind of in self-protection mode and they're also in self-protection mode. At the bottom of the deck, this person's energy towards Capricorn. We have the star. We also have the knight of swords and we have the strength card with the death card. Yeah, this person feels like you're holding back from them. They feel like you are holding back from them. But the thing is that they're, they're also holding back from you. Yeah, they're also holding back from you. They can't accuse you of, of anything. However, with the star card... I feel like this person is holding on to hope and holding on to faith that you two will be work will you two will be able to work out your issues with each other. Because they do really want to be with you. They really want to be with you and I feel like you really want to be with them. But with the death card, it does look like some sort of transformation is needed here. Some sort of big change is needed. And I feel like it has a lot to do with letting go of emotional baggage from the past is what I'm getting here with the three of swords and the moon. Letting go of past heartbreak, past grief that are, you know, creating this resistance here in the present time within this present relationship there's a resistance towards being emotionally vulnerable and again it it does feel like it's on both sides on both ends like i said i do feel like the universe is trying to help this relationship come together I feel like the universe wants you and this person together because you two can heal each other. It does feel like both of you need some healing. Yeah, both of you independently need to heal from, um, like I said, past grief, past heartbreak. And I feel like together you two can heal um, faster or more, more effectively. Okay, so Capricorn, I'm going to stop the reading here and I'm going to continue in the extended. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.